wanted to return back to this issue of, of black voters. I, I have a lifetime of experience with black voters. I've been one since I was 18. <laughs> um, nobody on this stage should need a focus group to hear from African-American voters. Uh, black voters are pissed off and they're worried. They're pissed off because the only time our issues seem to be really paid attention to by politicians is when people are looking for their vote. And they're worried because the Democratic Party, we don't want to uh, see people miss this opportunity and lose because we are nominating someone that doesn't, isn't trusted, doesn't have authentic connection. And so that's what's on the ballot. And issues do matter. I, I have a lot of respect uh, for, for the vice president. He is, uh, swore me into my office as a hero. This week I hear him literally say that I don't think we should legalize marijuana. I, 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 I thought you might have been high when you said it. <laughs> and, and let me tell you, because, because marijuana, marijuana, marijuana in our country is already legal for privileged people. And it's one, the war on drugs has been a war on black and brown people. So let me, just, let me just say this. With more African Americans under criminal supervision in America than all the slaves since 1850, do not roll up into communities and not talk directly to issues that are gonna to relate to the liberation of children because there are people in Congress right now that admit to smoking marijuana while there are people, our kids are in jail right now for those drug crimes. And so these are the kind of issues that mean a lot to our community, and if we don't have somebody authentically, we lost the last election. Let me just give you this data example. We lost in, in Wisconsin because of a massive diminution, a lot of reasons, but there was a massive diminution in the African-American vote. We need to have someone that can inspire, as Kamala said, to inspire African-Americans to the polls at record numbers. Thank you, numbers. Senator Booker. Vice President Biden, you can respond to that. I'll be very brief. Number one, I think we should decriminalize marijuana, period. And I think everyone, anyone who has a record should be let out of jail. Their record's expunged. It be completely zeroed out. But I do think it makes sense, based on data, that we should study what the long-term effects are on for the use of marijuana. That's all it is, number one. Everybody gets out. Record expunged. Secondly, I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm part of that, that Obama coalition. I come out of the black community in terms of my support. If you notice, I have more people supporting me in the black community that have announced for me because they know me. They know who I am. Three former chairs of the Black Caucus, the only African-American woman that ever been elected to the United States Senate. A whole range of people. No, My point no, is, that's not true. true. The other that's one is true. here. That's not true. I said the first. I said the first African American elected. Come on. First African American. So my point is, my point is, that one of the reasons I was picked to be vice president was because of my relationship, long-standing relationship with the black community. I was part of that coalition. Thank you.